Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com and welcome to this free video drum lesson. This was suggested over on my Facebook page and if you wanna make your own song suggestions then you'll find a link to the page beneath this video. I've got the full PDF transcription for you of my favorite parts from the song, No Excuses by Alice in Chains, drummed by Sean Keeney. Uh, what I've got here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections which I think sort of um, epitomise the song, the, the, the best parts, the most unique parts, mostly drum fills if I'm honest, but we've got a few of the grooves as well, that syncopated sort of stuff that he does um, throughout the song, really cool ideas. Um, and yeah, don't forget to download the PDF that comes with this lesson, you can find the link beneath this video as well. Have that printed out in front of you while I go through this lesson, it'll make it a lot easier for you to understand. Um, and uh, if you could also do me the favour of liking, sharing and commenting on this video, then I'd very much appreciate it. And also check out my website, drumsoword.com, and consider signing up to become a full online member where you get access to over 300 full song lessons where I teach you a song from start to finish, every single note, the full PDF drum charts included. But you'll find all the details over on the website. Okay, let's get on with our first section, which occurs right at the beginning of the song. Okay, so the first groove occurs, like I said, just at the beginning of the song, but we've got four bars for you, and I've written here on the chart, note this transcription's, transcription has been written for a drum kit with just three toms, two crash cymbals, and no splashes or effect cymbals. So on the actual recording itself, he's using, it sounds like um, a, a, a very a high-pitched tom of some sort, almost like a, um, a bongo or conga or something, um, plus he's using lots of effect cymbals, little splashes and, and chinas and stuff, so... Most of us don't have all that equipment. We just have a standard drum kit. So this is what I've done this lesson for. I want to be able to show you how to play this stuff just on a normal drum kit. So us, us average Joes out there can have a go at playing this. So just three toms. Actually, I'm going to be using these three toms. Two crash cymbals. So you could just use one crash cymbal. You could replace the right cymbal for the other crash cymbal. Um, and we haven't got any other effects going on. So we start off with the groove. I'm going to take you through each of the bars individually. Let's just play the first bar slowly. One and two. And throughout this, uh, these grooves, you'll, you'll see that um, Sean is naturally going for the hi-hat on the and, the upbeats, and leaving the downbeats for the main notes, the bass drum and snare drums. So we get one and two. Then we get our first flurry of 30 second notes. He plays these as a group of doubles. So the and and the uh of beat two are doubled up into 30 second notes, played quite fast. Right, right, left, left. And it naturally rolls into beat three. And uh, three and a three, which is the bass drum. One and two and a three. Play even slower. One and two and a three. One and two and a three. One and two and three. One and two and three. Continuing, three and four, and then he moves to, I'm gonna use the medium tom. It's hard to tell on, on any transcription, when I'm doing any transcription, whether it's a high tom or a medium tom or even a floor tom sometimes. So I've chosen to play the, the, the medium tom because we do get that, uh, that conga, that high pitched drum, which I'm gonna use the high tom for. So I'm gonna play it on the medium tom for this part. One and two and, and you can use any sticking. I've just given you a suggested sticking underneath each of these examples. The floor tom, uh, sorry, the medium tom and the bass tom come down together. And, and then just at the beginning of the song, for the second bar, he misses over beat one. He doesn't play any bass drum there. One, so we're in the second bar now. One and two and. See, the bass drum came down, came down on the and of beat one there. And then for beat three, we play this. Three, E, and. Three, E, and. That's my high tom there. Three, E, and. Again, he's still maintaining that hi-hat on the and. Three, E, and. Four. And then we get two splash cymbals, but I've just used it on, uh, as two crash cymbals, and a. So again, he's not rolling into the downbeats each time. He's playing those two splashes, or crashes in this case, on the upbeats, and a one. As we go into the third bar with just the bass drum, and a one. The third bar, one and two, we get the 30 second notes again, and a three, and a three, into a bass drum again. Then, and, and this is, I'm, I'm gonna play on the lower tom now, the lowest tom, and four, and into a bass drum and crash, and four, and. And then the fourth bar, again, he misses over beat one, skips over beat one. One, and two, he plays the bass drum and hi-hat open on the and of beat one, closes it on its own on snare, with the snare drum on beat two. One, and two, and. Again on the and of two, he plays the open hi-hat. This time, though, it closes with a flam on the snare drum on beat three. Three, and then, and four, and. At the end of the bar, excuse me. So, let's put it all together. Let's play those four bars slowly. One and two and a three and four 
and one and two and three and four and a one and two and a three and four and one and two and three and four and perhaps a little bit faster one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and and let's hear it played up to speed now without a microphone on so you can hear just the drums here we go Okay, this next example is literally the next four bars of the song. So we've got the first eight bars really on the first page. But if you want to timestamp it, it occurs eight seconds. We start with the crash symbol coming out of that flam from the previous um, example. So the first bar, one and two and a three. Oh, 30 second note over here on the hi-hat going into bass drum on beat three. And a three and four. Again, with the same ideas we had for the first four bars. Medium tom and bass drum being played on the and of four there. And again, he skips over beat one for the second bar. One and two, so on the second bar now. One and two. And then a new unique idea he plays throughout the song, introduces it here, where he plays and a three e and. And a three e and. It's like five notes in a row with the bass drum in the middle. And a three e and. You could use any sticking you like, but the right, left, left, right is a very natural sticking to use. And a three e and. Into beat four, four. Going over from the second bar into the third bar, we get the same idea again. And a one E and. And a one E and. So in the third bar now, two and a. Again, the 30 second that's going to beat three with the bass drum. And a three. Now he plays and four and. So the highest tom, snare drum, next lowest tom. You could go if you want to make it easy for yourself. My setup's a little bit weird, so it's over here. Yours would be here and here. Use any toms you like, but start on a high tom, a higher a tom, and then the second tom, make it a lower tom. So three and four and is how I've written it. And now this time for the bar four, he starts to do something which he does throughout the song from now on is where he does play the bass drum on beat one here for these bars. So we get the bass drum being introduced on beat one, one and two, then the and a three e and pattern, four and a, and the and a at the end. So that, those four bars slowly. One and two and a three and four and one and two and a three e and four and a one e and two and a three and four and one and two and a three e and four and a one. A little bit faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and a three e and four and a one e and two and three and four and one. Uh, and just a little little point before I show it up to speed for you. I've noticed also that on this electric kit, unless I use the actual tips of the sticks, I don't get a nice double sound. If I use the shoulder on this rubber pad, it's not as bouncy as a real acoustic hi-hat. I'm used to playing doubles with the shoulders. So forgive me if the double sound a little bit sloppy occasionally, it's because I'm using the shoulder of the stick when I should be using on this not so bouncy because it's not as bouncy as, as, as metal cymbals. Should be using the, the beads. It also, it also sounds a bit cleaner as well, doesn't it? Okay, so here's what that um, four bar sound like played up to speed. So this next section, I think it's the chorus. It occurs at 58 seconds. I've got eight bars for you, but it's really the drum fills at the end of each line that I'm interested in. So the first two bars, let's go over the groove. We've got a two bar pattern. We play one and two and three and four for the first bar. Second bar, one and two, three and four and. So the two bar groove is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and. And Sean doesn't feel the need to rush back to the hi-hat for the and of beat one after those crash cymbals. You could if you wanted to. He lets the crash cymbal ring out. So the next two bars, bars three and four, with the drum fill at the end, we've got one and two and three and four and it's the same two bar groove one and two and into bar into the fourth bar second bar on the screen here and then for, from beat three what we got is an open hi-hat on 
three, closing on the and of beat three. The bass drum's gonna be playing three and four, and it pumps underneath, three and four and, the hi-hat opens, three and four and, three and four and. And Sean comes in with the snare drum in an interesting place. He comes in with this drum fill after the bass drum on the and of three, on the uh of three and four. And, uh, sorry, three and uh, four and uh. And again at the end, he just plays one snare drum there on the uh of beat four. Uh, just after the bass drum on the and of four. What, uh, three and a four and a one. Interesting use. At first I thought it might be three and a four, three and a four with that three, sorry, with the and a three there being a ghost note being played very, very quietly. But I was able to find a uh, version of just the drums of this track on YouTube and after listening to it many, many times, I really can't hear the snare drum being played there. So I think he just plays three and a four and a one. Three and a four and a one. Three and a four and a one. So there's, next, there's two bars together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and a four and a one. Next line. Uh, we've got two bars of that groove going on again, exactly the same, except at the end of the second bar, we have an open hi-hat, four and one, it rings out for the whole of beat four, four and one, into a crash symbol where it closes on the next two bars. Uh, we've got the, the first bar on the screen here, the, the third bar on the chart, on the notation, is, is the first bar of the groove, one and two and three and four and, and then for the fourth bar, Sean does, uh, includes an idea here, which he, he, he plays later on as well, where for the first beat of the bar, he plays a ghost note on the E of beat one. That's the note written in brackets, that's played quietly. One E and a, uh, one E and a. Uh. Beat two is open, two and, it rings out, it then closes with the flam snare drum on beat three, three, and then we get and a uh, four and a, uh. and this time you do hear those notes being played, but he plays them on the floor tom and a four and a, with the bass drum falling down with the floor tom. You could play it with the medium tom, it doesn't matter. And a four, and a four, and a one. So that, um, those two bars slowly. One and two, and three and four, and one e and a two and three. Two and three, that's it. Two and three, and a four, and a one. And let's play, um, let's play them uh, all eight bars slowly for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and one and two and three and a four and a one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four and one, e and a two and three and a four and a one. And I accidentally just instinctively pumped the bass drum underneath all the way through there. Um, that's not what's, what, what Sean does, but if you find yourself doing that as well, then that's fine, it doesn't really matter. No one's gonna hear the difference, but um, I now play it properly as he plays it on the recording up to speed for you. Here we go. So our last example of the verse groove occurs at 1 minute 22 um, and this is sort of, you can see here from the first bar of each line here, he sort of settles into a standard groove and sort of sticks with it a little bit more. He sort of found his groove at this point in the song and he sort of repeats these ideas a bit more often in the same places. So the first bar, 1 and 2 and the 3, then we get and 4 and, that old idea again, and 4 and, then the second bar, 1 and 2 and a 3 and, the and a three e and being used there. Four and one, four and one into the third bar. One and two and three, which is exactly, which is exactly, which is exactly the same as the first bar. Three and four and, three and four and, exactly the same as the first bar we just, just played. Then get ready, we go one e and, he plays just left, right, one e and, that's the sticking I suggest you use. One e and two, and then he plays on a lovely little um, splash cymbal. This is why I, I wanted to include this, because I, I love the, um, the splash cymbal effect. We plays and a three e and. So play on one cymbal to replicate it. And a three e and, but the bass drum comes down with three. And a three e and. Then, very quiet in the mix, but he plays with another little splash cymbal, beat four. 
I'm going to use that crash symbol. Four, and then on the open hi hat, and L1, and L1, and L1, closing, I believe, into a crash symbol on the next bar. So those bars slowly. One and two and three. Sorry, start again. One and two and three and four and one and two and a three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and a three and four and a one. And let's hear those eight bars up to speed. Okay, these last three examples are drum fills that you play at the end of each of the um, choruses, I believe. So the first one occurs at 2 minute 15, and I've included the first bar of drum groove, which is the same for all three examples. We just get 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And each drum fill starts the same, it's just the ending of the drum fill that's different each, each time. Uh, he plays 1 E and uh, same as we had, same as we had before that, 1 E, uh, 1 E and uh, with the ghost note there on the E of beat one, one E and uh. Then we play open hi hat and snare drum on, on two, two, and I believe he just lets it ring out. He just rings, it just rings out for the rest of the bar here. Two and then that's the snare drum, three E and uh, back up to the open hi hat which is still ringing out, three E and uh, bass drum on three and the and uh, three E and uh, into a flam on four, and then and uh, snare drum and bass drum on the and a four, and uh, and the left hand up on the hi-hat. Now on your normal setup, your hi-hat would be over here, so right left isn't weird for you, right left is weird for me, I would probably play left right, but I'm showing you how you'd probably play it. And uh, and it closes again into a crash cymbal uh, on the next bar. So those two bars slowly, one and two and three and four and one E and a two and three E and a four and a one. A bit faster. One and two and three and four and one e and a two and three and a four and a one. And let's hear it up to speed. So the next example occurs at 248. We've got the first bar groove as we had just as I just showed you in the previous example. Let's go straight to the drum fill then. Start the same, except this time we get the open hi-hat on the and a beat one. One e and a. One E and uh. Again, he lets it ring out for the whole of the bar. Two and, and then a flam between two toms. I'm going to choose the floor tom and high tom and medium tom. The bass drum's going to play underneath it as well. Three. Then we get and uh, leading us into a line of snare drum notes. Four E and, and the and comes down with the bass drum. Four E and uh. And again, the left hand come up to the hi hat over here for me. Four E and uh. Closing the hi hat into a crash symbol on the next bar. So. Those two bars slowly. One and two and three and four and one E and a two. I uh, should have let it ring out, so let's try that again. One and two and three and four and one E and a two and three and a four E and a one. A bit faster. One and two and three and four and one E and a two and three and a four E and a one. Four E and a one. And let's hear it played properly. So the last example um, I, I thought was quite fun because it uses some triplets. It occurs at three minutes 36. The first bars is the standing bar of groove. The uh, drum fill bar, we have the same way it starts as previously, apart, we, apart from we don't have the open hi-hat on the and of beat one, one E and a. Then we get the open hi-hat on two, two, bass drum on the and, and this time he does close it, quite distinctively, on beat three with the flam, two and three. And then from the and of beat three, we get a set of 16th note triplets. And, and to, and to, to four. And to, to four, if you wanted to count it, and to, to four. Really what we're doing there, starting on the and of three, we're playing uh, four notes in a row. The first note starts uh, on the and of three, the last note ends on beat four. Two here, two here. And to, to four, and to, to four, and to, to four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So the two bars slowly. One and two and three and four and one e and a two and three. Uh, do that again for you. One and two and three and four 
and one E and a two and three and four. A bit faster, one and two and three and four and one E and a two and three and four. And finally, let's hear it played up to speed. So there you go, I hope you found that useful and enjoyable. Don't forget you can download the free PDF that came with this lesson. You'll find the link beneath this video so have that printed out in front of you. And also go over to my Facebook page if you want to make any song suggestions. Uh, I also give away stuff over on the page, give free lessons exclusive to Facebook. So there's loads of good stuff going on over there. And then also consider signing up to become an online member at Drums A Word. And what I do, or what I offer for $97 is a whole year's instant online access to the whole of the website, giving you access to every single video song lesson and chart I've ever recorded and transcribed. That's over 300 famous and popular songs now where I teach you a song from start to finish. Unlike this video, which just has the best bits in it. I've got loads of these, by the way. I, I, these full lessons, I teach you every single note. And like I said, I've got over 300 famous and popular songs now. When you sign up for the $97 subscription, I also give you loads of freebies as a thank you, including hundreds of mini videos teaching you famous beats, fills, and solos, just like this video. Three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material I upload for my members. So I record every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. And uh, you've got lots and lots of stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. Not just all the content that's currently on the website, but all the new stuff I'm going to be recording as well. So, and also maybe some stuff that you suggested uh, if it's popular enough. So uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, robertdrumsaword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.